Okay, here with Welling manager Jamie Day after a 2-1 victory over Braintree Town. Um, first win of the season, how do you feel? Yeah, obviously pleased with the boys, you know, I think we've said many times apart from Halifax, I think we've played fairly well and um, just not took our chances at the right times in games and credit to the boys tonight, you know, we went one down, um, could have been easy to go in their shells and, and get beat but you know, I showed a bit of character and got myself back in the game and I thought, you know, second half, yeah, I thought we took the game to them. Did we? Was it a cost, another mistake though that cost the goal? Yeah, definitely. You know, and, you know, at the minute we keep making mistakes and we keep conceding goals. So, you know, we said at half time that can't do all right, and then keep making mistakes and, and letting in stupid goals like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, we didn't go mad at half time, but we got what we need to get across to the boys. And credit to them, they responded in the second half and it was nice to get an early goal and then, you know, I thought second half, we got a little bit of luck with the one near the bar, but I felt we probably deserved that, you know, we had a much luck this year and um, in my opinion, I thought we deserved to win the game. Do you think, before, after we conceded the first goal, that we did lack a little confidence though after that, do you think? Yeah, I think it's going to knock a little bit of confidence out of you and probably lacked a little bit of quality at times, um, you know, of, of when you need to get the ball down and, and play. We didn't do that to the last 10 minutes of the half and created a couple of chances then, but played much better second half. So, um, like I said, I thought the boys showed great character uh, because could have gone the other way and, and got hiding. Yeah, so was it really vital that so we got the, uh, the, the equaliser so soon into the second half? Yeah, the, the, the next goal is always going to be important. And, um, you know, I felt we started the half really well straight away and got ourselves on the front foot. And good free kick, you know, good strike from Bushy. And uh, I think it set the second half you know, up for us. Absolutely, and we took the game to him in the second half. Um, Harry Buterman, I thought it was a penalty in the incident for the goal, but he's kept his composure really well and scored. Yeah, I, I, I felt he got pushed you know, as he went through, but obviously hopefully the referee played the advantage and um, we'll give him credit for that and he scored the goal. You know, great run from H, great pass from Jamal, um, you know, and a good goal. So, yeah, I felt it was, but um, we haven't got away by that now. Jamal Fife will come on and he just shored up the midfield. Was that always your plan? Well, he's, he's got experience and he was unhappy that he wasn't playing, which is what we want. You know, I want that. I want players fighting for their places and where they should be playing. So, you know, we felt put an older head just to, I thought Sam done well again, but just got a bit tired. Jamal's got a lot of experience uh, coming instead of the ship and obviously set the goal up. Was you also pleased with um, how we got the ball out wide today? We had a lot more width in the side. Yeah, I think you, you know what you're going to get with Toby. You know, I felt he's got great pace, works his socks off, looks to get him behind. He's a constant threat. And I thought when Steed come on as well, I think he looked, he looked lively. So, you know, we've got pace and power up front. Um, we've got to use that a little bit more. Uh, and obviously, I still feel for the second half, we put some great balls in the box and there wasn't enough red shirts in the, in the box to go and attack it. But, um, you know, overall, I, I was pleased. Do you think this sort of performance has been coming for a while? Yeah, definitely. I think home form has been good. I know we've, we've drawn three, but in all them three games, we could have easily won, won them. So, um, and away, like I said, away form has been poor result-wise, but I think performances have been there. So, yeah, I felt this was deserved. And um, obviously now we've got to try and get a run of games going. Um, it's not going to be easy with we, Rex and Way on Saturday. I think that's probably been the downside to the fixtures is we, we seem to come up against the top teams one after the other. But obviously we get them out the way early on and, and uh, need to pick up points in games like this. You know, no disrespect to Braintree, but you know, these are the ones that we've got to be looking to win. But how much confidence can we as a team take from this victory? Well, yeah, I mean, hopefully there's confidence is still good in the camp from the performances. Obviously the results do dictate that as well. But I think the boys have, yeah. like I said before, worked their socks off in training. They took on board what we said, and I felt that you know it's just a matter of time before we got the right result. And tonight showed that. And they've just got to keep that going now and stay positive and confident and take it into to Saturday's game. So obviously looking at the team lineup again, um, yeah. no Lee Butcher again. I'll take it he's now sort of departing. Is he? Yeah, uh, we're hopefully this week. It's been difficult to now keep it down who we really want. You know, some of the ones that we like. Uh, teenagers and I'm not sure whether they're quite ready to come and step in and play um, obviously from Premier Clubs but still something I've got to look at and JT has done you know done well in the game so yeah I mean um, hopefully I think Butch will be sorted by Saturday probably take Butch to Wrexham let him finish where he first started for us I think that'll be you know good for him um, and then obviously we need to nail that down. Was there not a sort of a, an inclination just to start him one more time or are you quite happy with JT. Yeah, now. I think JT's done well. I think the back four of, you know, 
um, responded to what he's asked them to do and I, I don't think we can be adding that token gestures of letting him play so you know obviously I'm gutted that we're losing him because I've, I've said many a time he's a first class keeper but you know Jay's here uh, number two obviously fighting for number one and that will remain until we get someone else in. Joe Healy, um, is he back anytime soon? Yeah he apparently done some running today so um, he'll train Thursday Friday and that's another player back you know we've got a lot of games coming up in a short space of time so the squad will be rotated round and we'll make sure everyone um, gets enough game time you know a few boys look tired the last five ten minutes so we need to to make sure we pick and choose certain games for certain players I think. same with yourself back for saturday or yeah i will see yeah I, i'm not going to get saturday tuesday games in there's no chance of that happening so um yeah we'll look at maybe the games that we think might need a bit of experience and games where we might be able to play the younger ones obviously you brought two new faces in um, any more lined up for this week yeah if I'd like can. to I, mm. I, the problem we've got is uh, all about it is you can only have five loans in the team so oh, we've okay. got four already and if we're looking to bring a keeper in that's five you know so um, yeah I would like to I think maybe we might have to look at bringing in some free transfers if we can obviously um, if Butch goes and, and we sign a keeper on a, on a contract then that money's gone you know if we can get a loan in, I can get him free then obviously that frees that money up to sign someone but yeah, we're looking, you know, I've spoke to a few players this week. Obviously, I've now got to bear in mind the, the five loans at one stage, but yeah, we're, we're still in the market to, to try and bring one. So, as you say, Saturday, Wrexham, back where it all began um, sort of a year ago. Um, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, speaking to Aid, you know, and listening to the comments, he said that's the best team they've played, and, you know, got a good manager there that's done well at Nuneaton and has gone and signed some very good players there. So, yeah, it's another one. Um, it's going to be tough and you know, I, I think, like I said, performances have been good. If we can take the chances at the right time and try and keep a clean sheet as well, I think you know, we, we can go there confident, obviously knowing that it is going to be a tough game and if we don't perform to the levels that um, we have shown in, in patches throughout the season so far, then we'll get beat. Well done, enjoy tonight. Cheers, Cheers Jay.